grading every team's offseason so far. Let's check it out. We got the Los Angeles Lakers with an A. I completely 100% agree. They lost quite a few players within this offseason so far. However, I could say that their additions completely offset every single one of the assets that they lost. They of course re-signed both Roy Hachimura and Austin Rees who were both huge for the Lakers in the playoffs. And as you can see right below me, they added excellent quality players such as Gabe Vincent, Jackson Hayes, Cam Reddish, and Torian Prince. Gabe Vincent was a steal, man. I don't know how the Miami Heat just let him go that easily. We got the Golden State Warriors with a B. Now, obviously, their greatest move within this offseason is trading away Jordan Poole to acquire CP3. If you would have asked me a few weeks ago regarding how the Warriors were doing within this current offseason, I wouldn't have agreed with giving them a B grade. I probably would have given them a C or a C minus. But now that I've had the time to think about the trade, I think I'm agreeing with giving them a B. A player like CP3 could possibly benefit the Warriors by adding another playmaker and floor general to their system alongside Draymond Green, which could quite possibly give more chances for Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson to play off the ball. And you already know, those two players prevail off ball. So to be optimistic, that trade wasn't the worst thing in the world, but we're just going to have to see what happens when the season starts all together. The Boston Celtics got an A. Me personally, I don't agree. I probably would have given them a B-. minus. Their main addition is Christos Porzingis, and offensively, that could be a great thing for the Celtics. Christos Porzingis can stretch the floor, but I don't trust Porzingis, man. He's injury prone, and I don't know if he's going to stay healthy. And losing a player like Marcus Smart, who was essentially the heart and soul for this team, I believe is going to hurt this Boston Celtics team even more compared to what Brazingis can provide for them. And I really don't think Brazingis is going to instantly fix every single one of the Celtics concerns that they have currently. I don't know. Giving them an A, I, don't, I really don't agree with that. The Phoenix Suns got an A-. minus. On paper, I completely and 100% agree. Um, bringing in a player like Bradley Bill to pair him alongside Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, you got to give them a high grade for that. And not for nothing, the role players that the Phoenix Suns were able to acquire to surround them with Bradley Bill, Kevin Durant, and Devin Booker, that big three they got down there, pretty solid, very solid additions, especially on the offensive end. Their main concern, however, is their defense. But we're just going to have to see what happens when the season begins all together, y'all. Having big names on your roster sounds great and pretty and all, but we've seen time and time again that having a big three nowadays doesn't always mean you're going to instantly win a championship. The Memphis Grizzlies with a B. I don't know. I think I'm going to give them either an A- minus or an A, man. I feel like the Marcus Smart and Derrick Rose additions is going to work wonders for them. Now, they did lose Tyus Jones, who was proven to be a great quality player off the bench. However, in all honesty, the Grizzlies never really had that on-court veteran, that voice that they could always go to when shit gets rough. And Marcus Smart and Derrick Rose can definitely play that veteran role, and that role can go a long way. And not for nothing, the things Marcus Smart can provide for this Grizzlies team, which is of course his hustle, his defense, and his occasional offensive game, especially from the three-point line, can also go a long way too. The Dallas Mavericks got an A-. minus. I kind of agree with this one, not gonna lie. Now, we all know the amount of offensive talent the Dallas Mavericks currently have, but they don't have any defense, and I feel like um, Grant Williams is the perfect 3 and D player to add to their squad, that can really help them out, especially on the defensive end of the ball game. And they were also able to resign Kyrie Irving, which is a major W within itself. The Spurs get a name. Obviously, their biggest addition is Victor Wimbayama. Considering the type of team the Spurs are, I feel like it's pretty reasonable to give them a name, not gonna lie. Victor Wimbanyama is said to become the future of this San Antonio Spurs squad. So I feel like that addition alone instantly carries the Spurs offseason grade. And last but not least, the Milwaukee Bucks get a C. I was considering bumping them down to a C-, minus, but after thinking about it a little bit, I think it's fairly reasonable to give them a C. 
they added Malik Beasley and Robin Lopez, who of which I really don't think those two players are really going to impact the Milwaukee Bucks in general. However, they already have their core and their team and their overall foundation set. So I really don't think it's completely necessary to make huge changes. Although they had a very disappointing playoff run, I think they're going to be back strong next year, man. I don't think they're going to go out sad like that again. What do you think about these offseason grades?